Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do a really quick video about the MLI on the Cavery G2. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get right into it here. I'm going to show you the MLI. So this is the MLI. It's a max lim or a, a multiple limit indicator, sorry. And um, so right here, we have two different modes. Right now we're in the power mode. I'm going to show you the flow mode here in a second. And uh, so we're going to have a look at what's going on here. So in the power mode, you can see we're at 84%. If we were to go up to 100% right now in power mode, what it's basically telling us is there's still reserve engine power left over. So your throttle is not gonna be fully open at, at full throttle. And so if you try and exceed 100% at this point, it's like when you're in a, tra a, a, a turbine and you're gonna over torque your transmission. It's exactly the same in this helicopter. So you're actually gonna over torque your transmission. So now what we're doing, we're actually climbing up here in altitude and um, we have a yellow zone i'll talk about that while we're waiting for this to flip over to flow mode the yellow zone is basically saying this is your five minute takeoff power zone so on takeoff you can go in this yellow zone for up to five minutes it has a little counter in the top corner here it'll start counting down after you've been there for about a minute and uh, so that's designed to be used when you're flying uh, slower than 30 knots so you don't have a lot of um, tail rotor authority applied. Okay, so we just switched over to flow mode. Now did you see this red arc? It actually descended down to the 100 mark. So that was really cool to watch. As a pilot, we can be watching this and we can say, okay, yeah, we're right at the, the point now where it's switching back and forth. We can say, okay, as I climb up an altitude, I can actually watch physically that red arc coming down and I can know when we're going to hit flow mode. What flow mode means is when I get to 100%, when I raise the collective and hit 100%, I'm actually gonna be at full throttle wide open, and if I try and pull any more than 100%, I'm gonna over pitch the helicopter. So the rotor RPM over here is actually gonna start drooping down the engine physically doesn't have any more power, okay? That was a really quick description of what the MLI does. Um, it's actually very similar sort of in design to an FLI, which you'll find in any larger helicopter, any big turbines nowadays of an FLI, which is a first limit indicator. It's a slightly different concept because that takes multiple different gauges. So it'll like take a, a torque gauge and a temperature gauge and so forth, and it'll show you whatever the max limit is going to be on whatever gauge is, is going to come up first. So that's a really cool concept. The MLI here in the Cabri is teaching you to, to, to learn to use that concept. Really fantastic. I hope you guys like this video. Share it with somebody who has been asking you about this. <laughs>